Following on from the lands agreement between the Ministry of Defence and the government in July 2011, the Chief Minister today announced at a press conference the opening of the tender process for the sale of ex-MOD housing. The 161 former MOD properties, all located in the South District, will be available for purchase to those who have been residents in Gibraltar for a minimum of 10 years. They will also be sold for owner residency and are not for speculation. Although the properties won't be transferred to government until the first quarter of 2019, the deadline for tender submissions is noon on the 23rd of February 2018. Completions are expected to begin in the summer of that year, but first the former MOD properties will serve another purpose. The Ministry of Defence and the Government of Gibraltar and Land Property Services in particular have been working together to ensure that we can put this brochure out now so that people understand the properties that are going to become available at the end of next year to the Government of Gibraltar. But as we turn into 2019 and we've provided the alternative sites that the MOD requires to house its people in Gibraltar, the first use for these properties will be to house the athletes that come to Gibraltar in the Island Games. That means that we will be upgrading the properties to ensure that the athletes can use them. And then when the athletes leave at the end of July, we will start completions on the successful tenderers as from the 1st of August of 2019. Government believes these affordable homes can appeal to the upgrader, those that are currently in other affordable accommodation and who may have outgrown their current homes or wish to move up the ladder. They also believe that these MOD properties can target young professionals. With today's announcement also came the news that government will develop an area of land adjacent to Europa Walks Estate. In addition to swimming pools, play areas and extra parking that will be available for sale, government will also create a new residential development consisting of 17 townhouses. These will not be subject to the same tender process, but will instead be sold for fixed prices, starting at £750,000 and target the higher tier market. Well, what we want to do is to make available everything that is coming back from the Ministry of Defence to those who are residents of Gibraltar and who are going to be owner-occupiers. We don't want to get involved in selling property for speculation. I think it's very important that we ensure that this, these properties, which are the jewel in the crown of what the Ministry of Defence had in Gibraltar, are now bought by those who are long-term residents of Gibraltar, by Gibraltarians, and that's the principal use that we want to see these homes put to. But the important thing is to say, how do we hand over these properties? and Europa Walks can be handed over with a, a very open area or instead of just uh, handing over what is a, a concrete and uh, small grass area, we can ensure that we upgrade the facility for everyone who lives in the area. So we looked at the possibility of developing parking, we looked at the possibility of also ensuring this looks like the perfect Gibraltarian residential estate for families, so a small pool facility and a, a green area for children and a garden for the area. So how would we fund that? Would we put taxpayers' money into that? Or could we use the area to develop more homes in the same sort of style, so new townhouses, which would produce the income for the government to invest in that area by producing the parking places and producing the swimming pool and producing the green area for that residential estate and in that way also elevate the value of those properties as we go out to sale to ensure that we get the best value for the taxpayer but still keeping it very very accessible to Gibraltarian long-term resident families. Brochures can now be collected from the GRP offices at Watergate House. They can also be found online at jibmodsales.gi. Government is encouraging that tender forms be submitted online.